MCU time travel. Um, slight spoilers. As well. I say slight spoilers. There's going to be spoilers here. When you yeah. get into time travel, it, it, let's be real. It doesn't work in real life, so you just make no. it up as you go along. That's kind yeah. of the key here, but we're going to talk also, about it and um, see what we got. So speaking of real life, they use the real life theories. Yes. And that's why people are confused. Yes, mm-hmm. the movie tells you, forget everything you know, you think you know about time travel. We're going to actually use what physicists well, think time travel would be. I mean, yeah. they make sure of that because everybody thinks of time travel with Back to the Future. And because they make that's sure like, they, you know, the one. They put, They make a point being like... Back to the Future lied to me. Like, <laughs> it, it really is like how we're all thinking. We're like, this is these movies, and they made literally a list of all of the movies. Why he said Die Hard, I don't know. Are they because like... Die Hard's the most famous time travel movie ever made? Like, why wouldn't you mention that? Uh... So, Mitch, do you want to tell us how this works in the simplest way, um, if you can? Uh, not particularly. Because uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I haven't got my whiteboard ready. But right. Essentially, like the, the theories they use and everything, what into like take this scene with the ancient one where she's talking to Banner. Yep. Right, and she she shows the timeline. That straight line in the MCU is made up of every single possibility happening at once. Yep. So it's all concurrent, and the Infinity Stones, you know, I said, think of like um, a cable comb. Mm-hmm. Right. They, they go through all the possibility threads, and then they cement one happening, like, and that's our timeline. Yeah, like there could be there could be more timelines. Maybe it doesn't, but the movie was kind of wrong with its own rules in some cases. But I think that's on purpose. Yeah. Um. So you know you can't then go back to your past because time is linear, mm-hmm. and that's another, another theory that they use as well. You know, time is linear to the individual. It's also um how you perceive time. You know, time could be as quick as you want, which of course we know happens in real life because, you know, look at dogs. Dogs are seven times faster. They perceive time seven times faster. Uh-huh. But that's, that's like, oh, I'm just trying to, I should have made notes for this. I forgot. What? But that's essentially how it works. You know, when they go, as Banner says as well, when they go back, they're not actually going back to the past movie. They're going back to like a, a past reality, like of a, possi- of, a, yeah, of a possibility. Exactly. Which is made by the quantum realm. Yep. that's why they use the quantum realm. Well, that's why the quantum realm is so unique because it sets a rule of what they can do, right? Like, mm. it has this ability and they use it uses. It also limits. It does. Like, they can't do that alone. Exactly. I-, I think what's smart about it is the quantum realm defines the way it works and you can't mess around with it because it's like, remember Doctor Strange, right? He could use the time stone. And just meddle by looking into the future and going through the past and rewinding time when he sets a, uh, you know, like a resurrection point almost, right? This time travel is different to the point where you going back in time, yes, but as they mentioned, the Infinity Stones hold everything. So if the stone isn't put back, then then, reality starts to cascade into different... And that's also the only way you can make a branch. Exactly. So like Loki taking a test fact and going doesn't make a branch. Right. Like there's no, no branches there. Cap going back to the 70s or the 40s, where it actually ever goes back to, doesn't make a branch. Yep. And that bit's confusing because it's supposed to be confusing. Because they're gonna fill in the gaps with some yeah. of the stuff that's coming, which yeah. makes sense when you really start thinking about it. You're like, okay, well, the things happen, and here's how they are, and here's these moments. But what people have to remember is, in the modern time, the Infinity Stones are destroyed. Mm-hmm. Like. Yeah. So, which is a major thing people have forgot. Yes, our it timeline is. as of right of from twenty two days after Infinity War is not stable. Yep, it's all over the place. So, mm. this could possibly be the um the gateway to bring in anything and everything. So, yep, a unstable timeline. Hey, Deadpool. What, what do you mean? Like, oh, like no. it's all there. Like <laughs> They've opened it up so they could literally be like, well, it's an unstable timeline. What do you want? Like, here's yeah. here's these characters from another world. Like, okay, sure, whatever. You and, know? and like a lot of people are going like, well, why can't they jump to the future? It's like, but the future, like, where the stones cement the timeline, uh-huh. the future hasn't happened yet. Exactly. Yeah. So you can't go to something that hasn't happened. And like, right. you know, they use the Mobius strip. You can only go to what's been like you know a location that actually exists if the possibility hasn't been cemented yet you can't physically go there uh-huh. but why thanos was able to go to where they were and what exactly they had. exactly which also why you know they put the stone back there that 
you know, there isn't a timeline where Thanos, Gamora, and Nebula just suddenly vanish because that branch got clipped. Right. Uh, that, like, that's fine. Like, but we, we, you can like, you can say that it's made of possibilities because of Strange looking at like fourteen million six hundred five of them. So mm. you know, you can see into the possibilities, but you can't go to it because it hasn't happened. Exactly. And that's kind of like a lot of the important stuff that's like cemented in there. It's like, oh, it's the little dialogue and notes that they're dropping in there. And remember, mm. they've said multiple times, the future, there's a lot of stuff in the quantum realm and dialogue and things are going to pay off. So, mm. like, it's clearly going to be really important. And specifically with the destruction of the stones and how they affect time, that's got to be a major factor going forward. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can also slide, I just keep thinking of things, you can also slide time through something like they did with Scott. And how the yeah. time st- like how or how they use the time stone. Yep. Like you know, sliding something through time isn't sliding time through them. Right. No, that they make that very distinct. That those two things are different. Yes, they do. It's complicated. It's convoluted. It's supposed to be. It's time travel. Right. Yeah. You can't make time travel easy because, well, it's complex. It, I was gonna say it, it doesn't exist. There's no right or wrong answer with time travel. Right. No. Like, the, the cable comb metaphor is like the only way I can really like in my head make sense of it. It's like, oh, it's, you know, that, that's just the stones and mm-hmm. that's how everything works. But and obviously, like, everything's personification. In the do we world. want to talk about what the Russo said about time, though, and how the Captain America ending works? Cause, sure, sure. Boy, that's a uh, that's an interesting one. Yeah. Um, Which, I mean, it, you know, it makes sense. Like, yeah. he, he, he goes back, he puts the stones back. He then jumps back to the 40s, which we know it's the 40s because there's music playing in the background. Mm-hmm. And um, he obviously he lives his life out there. They say he has as long as he needs to. So he, yep. he has another like 70 odd years. He's now 185. <laughs> so he's an old man now. Yep. And um, he makes a jump back. Why he doesn't appear in the same spot he left, you could say it's the unstable timeline. Right. You could but say he changed location. Also, their big thing is um, he goes back in time. And they said he lives in an alternate timeline, but then when he jumps, he comes back to the current timeline. But yeah. you can, again, the time is unstable now due to time travel. So yeah. they just confirmed multiple timelines now exist because say, of everything. With the multiple timeline bit, I don't know if that's the right word they should have used because technically it's just a different possibility. Exactly, yeah. Like, it's it's a weird one. Um, like, not to say that there isn't multiple timelines in the MCU now because that'd be kind of dumb if there wasn't. Like, the super flow is a thing for Marvel. So, I don't know. It's a complicated one. I, it's, I think it's an intentional question they brought up. Yeah, I could... Yeah. It's a very like there's a lot of this movie is intentional, a lot of the setup is intentional. I think that's just another one people have missed. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are going, Well, the grandfather paradox means this, and it's like they tell you that doesn't work. Yeah. That's not a thing in this thing, you know, the EPR paradox is one, you know, they use a Mobius strip for God's sake and all this stuff. No. They bring up a lot of actual theoretical science. Which for the makes sense because Ever since like the MCU started, they've been talking with real scientists to be like, "Well, yeah. what happens here? What happens with this? What happens with that?" So, and, so, and what they said is what Hulk says: you you go back to your past, that past becomes your present and future. Yep. So it's kind of there. Like, mm. yeah, they're not they're not days of future pasting in which I've seen no. a lot of people be like, "Days of future past did it better." I'm like, they did it better because they didn't try to explain it and they didn't care about time. That's yeah. because in Days of Future Past. Magneto lifts the White House and makes it float, or like the stadium or whatever the hell he does. I can't even remember that garbage. And like people are like, "Oh yeah," it's like, but that's never mentioned again. And yeah, they just ignore yeah. it in every other future. Th- like that's that's so stupid. Like at least here they try to make a definitive effort to explain it to you. And yeah, it's a little complex, but it will be played around with more in the future, definitely. Like oh yeah, yeah. There's literally a movie coming out next year that's. I would. I'm putting everything I have on that movie dealing with this. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we'll we'll get into it in the next topic if you want to jump there straight now. I don't know, but um, uh, I guess.